Hey, what's up everyone? Let's dive into a quick video where we showcase how to use the all new breadcrumbs bar to save yourself some time when you're editing or looking for other photos. With the all new breadcrumbs bar inside of PhotoRaw 2024, you can immediately access other photographs or other folders of images, all while you're performing adjustments inside of the edit module. So whether you're looking to copy and paste a style into a different photograph, or you're just looking to jump right into a recent folder that you were working on, the all new breadcrumbs bar has you covered. So let's jump into the all new version of PhotoRAW and let's check it out. So inside of PhotoRAW 2024 here, let's just take a look at the bottom of PhotoRAW and you'll notice we have this all new breadcrumb bar here. Now the breadcrumb bar works inside of the browse module. So you can use it to instantly navigate to a recent folder or navigate back into a specific location. But it also works inside of the edit module, so you can use it while you're performing adjustments on to your photographs. Let's just take a look at it inside of the browse module first, and then we'll use it while we're modifying and creating a style on a specific photo. So inside of browse, one of my favorite things about the breadcrumb bar is these arrows that you can use to instantly navigate into different locations. This back arrow will instantly take me back into that specific location that I was working on, which is incredibly helpful if you just want to get out of a specific folder or navigate back into a group of images. This down arrow here will open up this menu and you can navigate to different folder paths, your favorites, all of the albums that you've created, and any recent folders or photographs that you've been working on. Now, like I said earlier, you can also use the breadcrumbs bar inside of the edit module. So let's jump into the edit module with one of these photos here. I'll just grab this image there. And let's take a look at the breadcrumbs bar while you're styling and modifying images. So with the breadcrumbs bar inside of the edit module, one thing I really like to do is I like to create specific styles and then I can navigate into other images or folders and I can immediately apply that style to those photos. So let's just build a quick style here. I'll just go into the effects tab and I'll just get a little bit creative with some of these filters here. So we've created our style and with this particular style, let's say we want to quickly navigate to another image and paste this style on top of it. It's incredibly easy to do that with the all new breadcrumbs bar. All I have to do is just copy the settings. I can just use shift command and C on my keyboard to copy those settings that I just created. Now all I have to do is use this arrow key. I'll just navigate to another group of images. I'll just use my albums here and I'll go to Abandon and Rural Decay. And so I've navigated to a photograph that I want to style with that same particular black and white look. All I have to do now is hold down Shift, Command, V, hit Enter, and I've applied that specific look to this image here. Now the great thing about navigating to different images inside of the edit module is that I have all of these tabs and modifiers that I can immediately start using on this image. So let's say with this particular photograph, I really like that black and white style, but I wish this truck here and some of these other areas had a little bit more detail. Well, I could just use super select. I'll grab this truck. Let's just add some dynamic contrast onto there. And now we've stylized this image with that particular black and white look, but we've brought in another filter there to fit this individual image. Now with the breadcrumb bar inside of the edit module, you can always use the film strip view mode or simply use the arrow keys on your keyboard to browse through different images. So if I wanted to browse along in this album, all I would have to do is just hit the right arrow key on my keyboard. And now I have that next image within that specific folder. So I'll just do the same thing. I'll just paste those settings and there we go. And we can continue on and continue with copying and pasting settings. Or if we want to navigate to a different folder, we can immediately do that right down here in this breadcrumbs bar. So that was the all new breadcrumbs bar in action. It's incredibly helpful for when you're browsing and looking to go back into specific locations or find specific albums that you've been working on earlier. And it's also amazing for the edit module when you're looking to copy and paste a style into a specific photograph or navigate through different folders and albums. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next sneak peek.